you know, you just received a, a, a thinly veiled threat from the new guy over a speech that he gave after he received uh, the Liberty yeah. Medal. No. So take a look. Yeah. Oh. Use the obligations of international leadership and our duty to remain the last best hope of Earth for the sake of some half-baked, spurious nationalism cooked up by people who would rather find scapegoats than solve problems. You heard what he said people, yesterday, people. Uh, Senator McCain. Yeah, well, I, I, I hear it, and people have to be careful because at some point I fight back. Yeah. You know, I'm being very nice. I'm I being very, very good. nice. But at some point I fight back, and it won't be pretty. Oh, Mr. Uh, again, all I can say is have you no shame? No. Have no. you no shame? No. Have you no shame? No. Damn. Damn. You know, you tweeting about you tweeting about the NFL, man. What are you doing? Bonehead. Your father should say, you know, you know, remember when he attacked when he attacked John McCain and he said, I like uh, I like uh, heroes, I think he used the word heroes or whatever. Soldier, who soldiers captured. who haven't been captured. Well, you know, your father might say, I like presidents who haven't been helped by the Russians. <laughs> win an election legitimately. That would be refreshing. Oh my gosh. Um, listen, I was here with you guys yesterday when this story broke and yeah. I hate I hate this fighting between my father and President Trump because when you're talking about service and things like that, I just yeah. find it so deeply sacred and this is highly politicized. My father and President Trump have deep disagreements on the future of America, deep disagreements mm -hmm. on the role of America globally, about the role of the Republican Party and <laughs> whom should be leading it. And my father, God love him, he's 81 years old, fighting brain cancer, still out there having something to say. Yeah. And I'm so and proud. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, there's, there's a complete lack of courage in D.C. right now on all sides, all sides all the way around, a lack of courage to go up and stand for what you believe in. And for me, well, the I'm on all but, sides. I have to correct you a little bit because the Democrats have no power right now. The Republicans mm -hmm. have all the power. There's no They're the ones who sides. need to show courage. Yeah, it's not true. Sorry. Sorry. Well, we shouldn't be surprised at we shouldn't be surprised at this president, because remember what he did to the Gold Star family. Yeah. Remember what he said. The cons. Remember what he said, you know, uh, uh, about your father. He also served and he went to a military school and he said he got better training there than he would have gotten in the military. So this is someone who's been very dismissive he said his of the military. was avoiding STD. Yeah. I mean, he, this is the, yeah. something to yeah. that effect. So Tell this me is the exact. someone that I'm just not surprised. Yeah. I don't know if this is true. I don't know if he has the proof, but I would not be surprised if it were true it's because some, this is the level of discourse that but, comes from this White House. But it's, again, it's it's, you know, I, I go back to John Boehner, John Boehner and President Obama. The Republicans ran John Boehner out of there. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Yeah. Re they ran him out for a myriad of reasons, but a big reason because he pissed Mitch McConnell off by sitting with, <coughs> with Obama to try to figure out what to do. Mm -hmm. To me, you can't run off the people who are actually trying to help. Those two guys were trying to work together and could have really showed us a better way to do stuff. And now we're sort of like this all the time. And I, I hate it. Yeah. I hate it. Yeah. I hate this jacket.